Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulullah. Many times uh, visiting many communities, I've been asked this question. And what are the challenges? And what are Muslim, or what can Muslims do in addressing those challenges? I've been asked, you know, how can we you know, make youth active in our community centers or Islamic centers? Or the issue of Islamophobia that is, you know, we Muslims all over the country face each and every day. Or the issue of stereotyping of uh, Islamic concepts, Islamic ideologies, um, giving an impression that um, in Islam, Muslim women have no role. Um, or issues of um, gender discrimination or domestic abuse. So there are several things that, that we can talk about when it comes to um, what is the perception of Islam out there in the community. So for me, that's, the, that's one of the biggest challenge for us, that um, are Muslims uh, narrating the story of Islam or someone else is narrating the story of Islam? Are Muslims talking about Islam as our own faith? the faith that is dear to 1.6 billion people in the world, the faith that is dear to over 7 million Muslims in, in the United States. So it's, uh, it comes back to how are Muslims, uh, uh, how, how are Muslims addressing this issue? And which reminds me of the, uh, the story which we learn from the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the revelations of Audhu Billahi min shaitan rajeem Ya ayyuhal mutathir qum fa'andhir And reading um, just these two ayahs where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Oh you who's covered up, stand up, rise and warn. And when scholars they do tafsir of this that what is covering mean? Was it that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was laying down under the sheets of blanket? Or could it also mean that what is inside you, the faith that is dear within inside you, believe in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that is inside you and let it be known. And that is what I see the first challenge in addressing that challenge is that Muslim community should come out, we openly and proudly talk about our faith which is dear to us our submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most precious thing for us our love for Prophet has no comparison for us and that is how we address this issue the covering that is upon us that we are inside our communities we are inside our home we are inside our Islamic centers and we feel comfortable we need to come out of that comfort environment. So taking apart the coverings that we have of our faith, coming out and talking about Second thing is the engagement of youth in, in Muslim community. Um, there's, no, um, there's no doubt that um, for any um, community to, str to survive uh, and to move forward, the baton of leadership must be transferred to the next generation. And how does that transition take place? It is extremely important. And it would, it would require from the first generation of, uh, of leadership or the leadership as Islamic centers to open the doors in the leadership for the young brothers and sisters. So let them make part of your board, your committees, your you know, um, uh, committees that are running the Islamic Center. Um, let us make Islamic centers more uh, youth-friendly. The, the way the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his masjid was, uh, that there were, you know, wrestling matches happening in, in the Islamic Center. So I'm not saying that we hold wrestling matches, but you know, making that environment, uh, creating that environment in Islamic centers where people are comfortable where people can come and to pray and can talk about their deen and also can provide that social environment. So that is the way I see it. In Iqna Islamic Circle of North America, from young Muslims, we are seeing that transition happening in Iqna chapters as well. 
where young brothers and young sisters are now leading many of our major Islamic centers and organizations. The third issue of Islamophobia, again, as I said before, that we have to share the story of Islam. We have to share that the first Islamic university in Morocco was funded by a Muslim lady. We have to share these stories so that people understand that Islam is about fairness and equality. Islam is about equal rights of, of, um, of, of men and women. Islam is about educating men and women. And our Prophet Sallallahu in his sayings emphasized this aspect that seeking knowledge is obligatory for Muslim men and Muslim women. So that is how, my brothers and sisters, we need to talk about our faith. We need to take it and deliver it as Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. So, Jazakallah khair. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.